All right, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Aurora. If you are new here, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I do have the AC completely on. So I'm sorry if the audio sounds a little sucky. Um, but today's topic of the video is did I buy a GMC Sierra 1500 Duramax diesel and is it a lemon if you guys don't know what that means basically if you guys don't know what that means it basically means you just bought one of the bad batches if you guys did watch the first video I did on it I did talk about how um, the check engine light came on right so the check engine light came on within the first 500 miles and I only had about a week with it. Now I did buy this one out of town. So the city is about two hours away from me. Not two hours, but like with traffic, maybe like two hours. It's about an hour, hour and a half sometimes. So it's just kind of a hassle, hassle going over there. And you can go to any GMC dealership and take it from the service and everything. And I'm kind of pissed right now because my GMC, the one that's actually in my town, the service, is shit so I called because like I said the engine light came on within the first week right they fixed it I am now at 3,370 miles that's how many miles I have on it so it's basically been about another 3k since the last time I took it and the check engine light came on yesterday I was literally I want to go by DEF for it uh, which if you drive a diesel DEF I don't know I just have to put it on I'm not really sure what it's about I'm a first generation generation diesel owner so I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing I'm just trying to make sure she's good you know to try to make sure none of her levels go empty I'm halfway through my DEF right now uh, so I want to go buy more that way she wouldn't be empty it takes a while for it to go down, you know, but I'm just taking precautions because I don't want anything happening with the truck. I want to take as best care as I can of it. And so yesterday, right, as soon as I was stopping at AutoZone to buy the death, the fucking check engine light comes on, you guys. And I already had a feeling it was a possibility of it being the same thing as last time like this the the same error or the same reason why the check engine light had came on so i didn't get the paperwork for it last time because since it is about an hour and a half they had given me a rental and the rentals engine light came on check engine light came on so I called them and I was like, hey, the check engine light came on on the rental as well. And they were like, you know what? What we could do for you is, because uh, I told them, I was like, I don't really need the rental. I, I had just taken it because when I did drop off my truck, I needed it to get back home. But other than that, I didn't need the rental. I have other cars to go back to work and stuff like that. Go back in front to work. And so I didn't really care for the rental. Like it, the the, I had the Canyon and it was literally the smallest truck. It literally felt like a car. And I had a Tacoma before. And I don't know why that one felt like a car. Well, I'm off topic. But, yeah, so they were like, what we can do for you is we'll drop off your truck when it's done and we'll pick up the rental. You don't have to fill it up. You don't have to do anything to it. We're sorry for the inconvenience. And let me tell you, where I bought the truck at, their service a1 i hit them up yesterday i hit up the guy who i actually purchased the vehicle from and uh i i texted him and i was like hey i was like could would you be able to find out like what because i just wanted to make sure i know the warranty uh i just wanted to make sure the warranty was what i thought it was I hope you guys can see me. Is it overheating? Yo, I wasn't sure if it was overheating, so I grabbed the camera. Sorry. 
Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I, I texted him and I was like, hey, what's the warranty? You know, whatever, whatever. Because I didn't get any extended warranties for the fact that usually they don't honor it. I've had that happen before uh, with Toyota, actually, because uh, I've had a couple cars from them. And they don't really honor the extended warranty like they say they do. You know, when you buy it, they tell you all this stuff. And then you actually try and fucking use it. And they're like, oh, well, it doesn't cover this. It doesn't cover that. And I'm like, all right, fuck you guys. And like, what's the point of paying for it? You know what I mean? So I decided not to get it for this one. And with that said, I was like, hey, you know, it is I, like, I'm right, right? It's three years or 36,000 miles. And since I do have the diesel engine, they were like, oh, uh, for your engine it's five years or power power terrain i think it's the same thing um they were like so since i do have the diesel it is from bumper to bumper bumper to bumper it is uh three years or thirty six thousand miles and for uh my diesel engine it is from five thousand five years or a hundred and thousand a hundred thousand miles so those are the two different warranties that my truck actually has right so he he did tell me he was like yeah you're right you know this and this and this and that and I told him hey could you check what code came on the last time that I took the truck for the check engine light and he was like yeah I'll go ahead and check for you uh I texted him around eight so he was like the service department is closed like they are closed completely closed you know but he still texted me back and he let me know but he was uh, basically like I'll let you know tomorrow, I'll talk to the service department, and I'll let you know what code it was. And I told him, oh, okay, because I just ran, I have a code reader, so I connected it, and it told me the code. Which, the code, just so I don't mess it up, let me just check, code is P1488. So, I searched it up on Google and stuff like that before uh, he sent me the results. But I already had an idea it was the same thing. I was a little scared at first. I was a little skeptical. I was like, fuck, I hope it's not because, you know, I lifted it a little bit more because of the leveling kit or the tires or something. You know, I was just hoping it wasn't that. But in my head, I was just like, it's really weird. Like, it just came on out of nowhere again. And so I had seen already before I bought the truck that there were a little bit of issues and stuff like that. Like, I knew what I was getting into and so i tell him i was like oh the code that popped up this time was p1488 and so he sends me the paperwork today in the morning actually and it's the same fucking code so it basically it's he told me that originally it was because it was dirty like that's what the the actual guy the the mechanic like the lead mechanic was telling me but in reality when i saw the paperwork it actually says um it actually says leak leak check system no leak found found clamp wasn't properly aligned and it says they replaced the sensor and uh the clamp so they replaced both of them right and it did fix it you know it did fix it for about three thousand miles and it just kind of sucks that now it just turned on again and now I gotta take it back. And the dealership in my fucking hometown literally does not want to help me until the 2nd of September. So I know it's probably not a big issue, at least I'm hoping, because I see like a lot of people, like I've looked on, on Google, like I said, and a lot of people were talking about that code and how they took in their, their truck to the dealership multiple, multiple times. So, but it was never like anything crazy. It was just like the check engine light turned on, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, there's a guy in front of me and I'm trying not to be awkward. He went on his sunshades, you know, he's minding his business. I don't mind my business. But yeah, it just, it, it sucks, you guys. Like, at least if I was dealing with the dealership that actually sold me the truck, um, I wouldn't be so upset because they literally helped me like this. The only thing that it did take, it, it took long to get the sensor and the clamp in, um, but that was because of, you know, delivery. 
But other than that, uh, it was pretty fast. Like they worked on it. It did take about 10 days for me to get the truck back, which kind of sucked because it happened within like the first week. So now again, I'm, I literally just hit two months with it. And this happens, which is like, I got to wait till September 2nd for them to check it out. Right. And they basically told me like, yeah, you have an appointment, but that doesn't mean it's going to be done in a day. So that doesn't mean they're going to check it that day, even though I have the appointment. So as you guys can tell, it is right there. It, it just sucks, you guys. Like, I'm not, I love the truck. I literally love this truck. It's amazing. I already did so much to it. You know, I've already invested a little over 4K into it. And that's not even including the payments, you guys. Like, it's just like, what the fuck? Like, I, I might have to use the lemon law, honestly. Like I said, this is the second time for the same thing. I hope it doesn't happen again, but there's a high probability that it will. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to myself. Like, there's a really big probability that it's gonna happen again. And I'm gonna have to take it back in for the same thing, you know. And like I said, I have to drive it till September 2nd when they have my appointment, and they're not even gonna check it that same day. It's basically what the lady told me, which I hope isn't the case. I hope once I'm there, you know, it's different, and the the person who's actually doing the services and stuff like that, they talk to me. But it just sucks. So she was like, at the GMC where I live, right? Not the one where I bought it, but the one where I live. They were like yeah so first basically you bring it in you have to have a ride home all right which with toyota they always had um shuttles they would take you anywhere or an uber okay first um second the gmc that i went to right where i bought the truck the first time that i took it in for the check engine light uh i took it all the way over there because they were installing the kicker system but literally the first thing they did was check the code and they were like yeah you know we're gonna have to order parts you're gonna have to leave it here so what they did was give me a rental literally that day i left i turned in the truck at 7 at 7 30 i already had a rental literally it was like this like they did their like they got to it and from what i can see already this lady she was like well first you need to drop it off and they're probably not gonna get to your truck so soon you know so i don't know how long it's gonna take them which it literally only took me less than 10 minutes for me to check the fucking code um but who knows how long it's gonna take them to check what's wrong with the truck right and once they figure out what's wrong with it then if it's covered under warranty then they can give me a rental which is like dude i only have three thousand miles on the fucking truck I only have two months with it and I was like so if it fucking blows up on me like you guys just want me to keep driving it then and she basically said yeah so I was like what the like what the fuck bro like literally the other the GMC where I bought it at they were like no you can't drive it we can't let you leave like that we're gonna give you a rental when the rental fucked up too when the check engine light came on they literally offered me another rental and you know they were like trying to make it work for me but i was like you know i don't need another rental i don't even need this fucking rental you could just pick drop the other one off pick this one up we're good like i don't care as long as i don't gotta pay for the fucking gas because that truck was eating gas like nothing literally i would drive once to uh a city that was like 20 miles away and it would eat like 80 miles like of gas and i was like what the fuck fuck this truck this is the second time i have to go get it checked for the same fucking code which is not a big deal to me so if i use the lemon law i'm not sure what i'm gonna do There's three options i've seen with the lemon law they can either replace your car for the same one basically uh and like i said mine happened within a week of it like the first time so they take that into consideration so usually let me explain the three first actually so it's either they replace your car with a new one with this like the msrp has to match um so like this one it was like 65 something 
So basically the other car that I could get has to be like the same as MSRP. Um, the, and, and that's, they replace it and you basically keep the same loan. So you're not paying any anything extra. You're just keeping your payments. You're just paying it off. Uh, now, second choice that I've seen is uh, they give you a compensation, but you keep your truck, you keep doing the payments on it, and they give you a compensation. How much is that? I don't know, um, but I've seen, you know, I've seen some crazy ass stories. I don't know, but at the end of the day, like I said, this isn't something like their transmission blowing up it isn't something like the brakes continuously messing up it isn't like anything that can endanger me which i see that kind of as an upside because if i do decide to go the lemon law and i decide to keep the truck i still get money on top of that you know which is kind of cool like just because they gave me a faulty truck and i already had like three or more times fixing it and it's still covered under warranty so obviously I would get another extended warranty and the compensation which is like it's something that like I don't mind doing you know because like I said I love this truck I've already put 4k into this truck like why why would I let it go you know it's not it's not a big deal like I said at least to me it's not a big deal it's literally just a little sensor and a clap it lit the first time so on on it I'll show you guys the invoice right here it says just for those two parts and for them to fix it, it was only 240 bucks which if it's just gonna be like I have to keep putting new ones and new ones every time I don't mind as long as it doesn't mess with interfere with the engine the transmission or anything like that I don't really care like I don't really care at all um, and 200 bucks is like nothing you know to keep fixing this truck is like 80k almost 80k you know like it's lit literally like one of the nicest trucks that I have ever been in so that's an option that I'm considering already uh, the other option is they basically pay out your loan they give you a compensation and whatever money you paid uh, and whatever money you put down and registration fees and taxes and all of that they give that all back to you plus your compens compensation like I said and I've seen that some people even get two or three times their amount. Like that's fucking crazy, you guys. Let's say like they they pay out the truck, right? And then my compensation is like 100K, bro. That'd be fucking crazy. Like if you think about it, what the fuck? You're getting 100K for free. Like that'd be crazy, you know? Like just because you got like a bad apple. And like I said, this truck is nice. I don't mind keeping it. I also, I don't mind the other options. It just depends where I kind of win more, you know? Uh... So it, let's see what happens. I'm gonna still keep this truck for a little bit longer. It's probably gonna happen again, I'm not gonna lie. This issue's probably gonna come up again after they fix this one. I've seen, like I said, I saw a lot of people comment like in this like Google thing where everybody was talking, kind of like Reddit. They were talking about the code and some of them, they've been to the dealership five times, six times. And sometimes they say, oh, it's a software update. Oh, like mine, it's a sensor oh it's the clamp and it's like they don't really know what the fuck is going on with the truck i'm guessing since this engine is so new i think it only has three years out if i'm not wrong i could be wrong though don't don't quote me on that i could be wrong but um it's one of the newer engines so you know they don't know a lot about it which like i understand but I've seen some crazy ass stories. I'm glad that's not what's happening to me. Like I've seen cars that literally just turn off on them on the freeway, which that's not the case with this one. So it's kind of like with those, with if that was what's going on right now, I would be like, no, you need either need to replace it or give me all my fucking money back. Like it's either one of the two, you know, but that's not the case. So I'm not that upset. Um, but what do you think? Did I buy a lemon? Did I buy a fucking lemon? Tell me what you guys think down below in the comments. It's crazy to think this truck is like, like I said, the MSRP is 65K. No, yeah, 65K. The MSRP is 65K 
plus another 10% of taxes. So think about it. That's almost like $72,000. So for this truck to be 72 k and not even fucking work or have like, it's not reliable, it's like, it blows my fucking mind. Like, what the fuck, GMC? What the fuck, GM? Because I'm pretty sure this shit happens to Chevy too. I'm positive. But I mean, let's see what happens and see what goes on. It's just a waiting game from now on. But we're still gonna be doing stuff to the truck because you know, I could keep it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Uh, I already talked to a lawyer just because I know with a lawyer, I could probably get more out of it. Uh, so I mean, I don't mind. GMC, GMC basically, they have to pay for the lawyer as well so they don't take it out of what i win they take it out from gmc so it's kind of like a win-win you know what i mean but um let's see what happens let's see what happens i'm kind of already looking into other trucks i kind of don't mind getting like if this one comes out refresh 2022 uh i kind of don't mind getting another one a newer one you know I'd, I mean, the only thing that does suck is basically my wrap when it go to waste. I would tell them to move my uh, rims and tires and my whole setup to a new one, and you know. But uh, it just kind of does suck if I do decide to turn it in or whatever. I kind of lose the money I spent on the wrap. But I mean, if the compensation is like 20k, you know, it's kind of like, oh, I only lose like I spent 1k on materials. So it's kind of like, uh, I'll take the 20k. You know what I mean, like, but uh, let's see what happens. I guess we'll find out. We'll find out soon. Like I said, I'm already talking to a lawyer. I kind of already told them what's going on. I just texted them that they told me this shit. Like, I don't know why the fuck they would say that, but I was like, and I, that that's what pissed me off. Like the dealership where I bought it, like I'm saying, A1 service, A1. And then the one in my hometown is trash, trash, trash. Do not buy a GMC from Motor City in Bakersfield or come do your services there. Well, maybe buy it there, yeah. But don't do your services there because they're trash. Trash. But I will see you guys next time. Deuces.